The topic is the International Conference on Alcohol and Harm Reduction in Cape Town, South Africa, 2006. And we have with us our guest, uh, Ms. Joyce Perkins. Now, of course, uh, Ms. Perkins, let me uh, give you an opportunity over this last segment to uh, uh, talk about some of the things that uh, you saw in uh, South Africa that you believe our view viewers would be interested in, and in a real sense, give us a report, because uh, we, we've not been to, uh, South Af to Cape Town, but you just came from Cape Town, and tell us uh, within that perspective about what you saw, and, and then later on you can perhaps give us some recommendations in terms of what we ought to do in reference to what you saw. Oh, thank you. And I, I think that in terms of the drug problem that, that I witnessed and saw is that one, they have alcohol, it's just rampant. One is it just culturally accepted, it's available and it's cheap. Mm -hmm. And this new drug, it's not new here in this country, it's called tick there, it's called methamphetamine. Mm -hmm. It is rampant in the townships and it's rampant throughout Cape Town. Mm -hmm. And the person that was taking me around, my guide, mm -hmm. 10 people died in three days of tick overdose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and that, that was just... That rampant. That is what was happening. Mm -hmm. And that, I mean, it was one of his best friends that had been, uh, mm -hmm. that, 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 that overdosed from it. Mm -hmm. And it's very, and it's, again, it's cheap, it's available, mm -hmm. and people use it. Mm -hmm. And there's no treatment. There was only one treatment center in Cape Town that's sponsored by the government. Mm -hmm. I got to see that. I'm mm -hmm. sure that you've seen the photo mm -hmm. of, uh, mm -hmm. a, of a treatment center there. Mm -hmm. And there are private treatment centers, but you have to have money to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not available. In terms of what the townships were like, I mean, people care. You see people mending their housing. They're trying to mm -hmm. paint them, make them look nice. You see clothes hanging out all the time. Mm -hmm. The children are in school. Again, schools are not free. They have to pay for them. Mm -hmm. They need clothes. The kids are just, uh, they're out either close to their families, mm -hmm. by observation, or else they're just wandering around mm -hmm. the streets. There's, there was a kidnapping of a little girl in one of the, the townships. The way news gets posted <coughs> mm -hmm. is that it, they, they take the front page and they just post it around mm -hmm. the townships. Mm -hmm. And I went to several townships, but you know, it just seems to be not everybody buys a paper and not everybody has a TV. The electricity is scarce. Electricity goes out. Everybody does not have electricity. There is mm -hmm. townships, where there is uh, houses that I went into where there is wires all over the place mm -hmm. and you have next door neighbors hooking into the electricity because mm -hmm. they haven't got electricity. Mm -hmm. The issue with HIV and AIDS and medication and electricity. Mm -hmm. I asked at the um, center where the babies were, I said, uh, what's the hardest part mm -hmm. of working here? And they said, the babies come in and they're compromised, they're not doing well. Mm -hmm. What happens, they get fed, they get, and they start thriving, they go back to their homes where mm -hmm. the mother is infected already. Mm -hmm. They give them medication and a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. They throw the refrigerator out and they throw the medication out because mm -hmm. then everybody knows they have AIDS mm -hmm. and the stigma is just yeah, okay. so mm -hmm. visible that they don't want to be part of it because people just get beat up they get they, they've been mm -hmm. people have been killed and beat up to death mm -hmm. because they have HIV mm -hmm. and AIDS mm -hmm. so you know when you have those kinds of stigmas it's very hard to move forward mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the magnitude of what's mm -hmm. out there and, um, and what you mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. The other issue is the prison situation. Mm -hmm. I got to go to the prisons um, and these were boys that were young men that were 18, 19, and 20 years old in there for murder, mm -hmm. killing, rape, and mm -hmm. drug offenses. Mm -hmm. They have a system there called 26, 27s, and 28s. 26, 27s, and 28s. Mm -hmm. And the 28s sodomize, they, they're sexually abusing people. Mm -hmm. Not much different than what goes on here, mm -hmm. but there's a system that just really works mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that. And then the 20s, and, and, the, and it's usually the big guys that are doing mm -hmm. the violence. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the HIV, there are condoms. The, the 28s don't like the condoms. Mm -hmm. We sat and talked for two and a half hours with these guys in terms of how they can take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. And there were some 28s in the room mm -hmm. being able to uh, hear what was being said. Mm -hmm. And of course, and then I'm gone. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it, it's a very serious problem. We have, an urge, we have a pan 
epidemic globally. Mm -hmm. We're going to be celebrating World AIDS Day. The theme this year is keep the promise and mm -hmm. accountability. Mm -hmm. But now, now what we're saying here now is that uh, since Africa is such an important continent, that unless we can really deal with it, uh, with this situation in, in the Cape Towns and the Durban, Durbans and all these other uh, uh, cities where uh, we know we've heard reports, then there's absolutely nothing that we should hope of, uh, of ever er eradicating this disease. Is that what we're saying? Well, you know, I mean, again, if, if I, you know, I, I think of the 20 odd years I've been working, you know, I always think there's hope. I think mm -hmm. that people need to be accountable. I think the people in grassroots and, and in political elected officials, mm -hmm. we have been doing this work for 20, what, 1980, you know, it's mm -hmm. 27 years mm -hmm. already. And we know what needs to be done. We don't have to have any more studies. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to put into practice what we already know. Mm -hmm. In terms of drug use, we have a country here in this country that, mm -hmm. that won't even let needle exchange exist mm -hmm. to help addicts keep themselves clean from mm -hmm. AIDS and from mm -hmm. uh, hepatitis C. The mm -hmm. same is true there are, you know, countries that need this kind of, mm -hmm. it's a very inexpensive, it, it really needs to be paid attention to mm -hmm. in terms of prevention and education. Mm -hmm. But leaders and elected officials need to take a stand mm -hmm. and there needs to be a real pulling together of resources. We over, I mean, there's no, as long as there's hunger mm -hmm. in, in, in this world, mm -hmm. there can be no justice, mm -hmm. you know, and you're losing potential teachers, you're losing, I mean, mm -hmm. potential no matter how you're looking at, mm -hmm. at it, you're losing a, uh, a segment of a population. It's a genocide. Mm -hmm. You know, for, uh, and, and of course we've got about three minutes, but I think that uh, the message that you have is, is not only an excellent message in terms of uh, AIDS prevention and et cetera, but I think it's also a message that uh, could be used uh, by dealing with uh, some of our young people, which is to say that you've talked about uh, the lack of education and what people will do in terms of education. Why don't you uh, use the next three minutes that we have here to talk to our young people who uh, really don't have, seem to have an interest in education and et cetera, and perhaps tell them uh, about uh, what is being, you know, how other individuals in Africa and other places might yearn for the kind of free education that's here. All I can say is I think Spike Lee said, wake up, you know, mm -hmm. just really wake up, use every moment. I have three grandsons. I tell them every day, use your brain, mm -hmm. pay attention, listen, and, you know, school, it's m m the thing that you're going to do for the next 20 years. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you can say it as a joke. I mean, when I look at all the Game Boys and everything like that, mm -hmm. put it aside, take a book, read, mm -hmm. talk to somebody, talk to an adult. Mm -hmm. I mean, education is so important, you know, as well as, you know, being part of the community, mm -hmm. you know, paying attention to what's going on. And this is for the older adults, the mm -hmm. younger adults. I hear stories about TSU students just mm -hmm. wasting time, mm -hmm. not paying attention, mm -hmm. not wanting to do their work. The same is true over Vandy. I was mm -hmm. in a conversation last night. Everybody is like, I don't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have, we have health care. We have every issue is back on the table. Mm -hmm you know, we need to wake up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very good. And, 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 and one of the things uh, that in, in reference to uh, these reports uh, about dealing with Africa, uh, do you think that uh, there's some way that we can uh, uh, create a, a new national consciousness among uh, our leaders in, in terms of dealing with some of these issues? Look, I mean, we, you know, there has to be the private and nonprofit sectors working together. Mm -hmm. The churches are involved. Mm -hmm. There has to be not separatism, but mm -hmm. really a coalition mm -hmm. and being inclusive of every piece of resource possible. Mm -hmm. Because again, I see it as a genocide. Mm -hmm. You know, I see people dying. Mm -hmm. I mean, even in this country, I mean, we have, what are we talking about? Sexual behavior mm -hmm. and drug behavior. Mm -hmm. Something that could really be stopped. Mm -hmm. 27 years into the, you know, mm -hmm. uh, pan epidemic and it's still here and, and there's still new cases and mm -hmm. African Americans mm -hmm. are still in the lead of new cases mm -hmm. that are happening something's not right with that picture mm -hmm. we're doing something that you know we, we got to be talking to each other more mm -hmm. we have to be able to be open mm -hmm. and um, hearing new ways of doing things mm -hmm. because what we're doing is not working very good and of course over this last half minute uh, Ms. Perkins let me thank you for 
coming by and giving us that excellent report on what is going on in Cape Town, uh, South Africa, in addition to all of the uh, other information that you got, gave us, especially to our young people. I think that that will be instructive to them. And of course, uh, let me uh, also encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.